Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. This week I am going to be working on this vintage stereo cabinet that I was given by a friend. I always like to start my flips by completely taking everything apart. So I'm going to be replacing this back and I am taking off the doors and the hinges and hardware as well as removing all of that contact paper that is in on the shelves. Somebody has obviously already upcycled this cabinet once, um, but that piece of wood that they put in the bottom, there was a really big gap between the back and they just covered the gap with the contact paper. So I'm gonna be replacing that with a piece of wood that actually fits the space. So I'm gonna be completely stripping this piece. So I am using my go-to stripper, which is clean strip in the 15 minute formula. The green paint was being really stubborn to come off with the stripper. So just to be safe, I did a lead test on it and it came back negative. Um, the lead test, it would have turned red if it was lead. So I'm thinking this is probably milk paint that was uh, put on decades ago. But since I knew it wasn't lead, I just ended up doing three rounds of stripper on all the sides and the doors. I then use some acetone with some fine grade steel wool to scrub off any of that stubborn paint that was still left on there after I was done using the stripper. I then filled in any gouges and cracks that was on the inside of the cabinet with some Bondo.
Then using my palm sander, I started with a 120 grit and worked my way up to a 240 grit to sand the entire piece smooth so that I could get it ready to be stained. The casters that were on there were not original to the piece. Somebody had added those later on and one of the wheels was actually broken. So I just decided to remove them and then I needed to pop out the caster sockets because they were in the way of where the new board was gonna sit that I'm making for the bottom. I then gave the entire piece inside and out, underneath, everywhere, a really good clean using some Dixie Belle Pristine Clean. After I wiped it down with that, I went back in with just some water and a rag and washed up any of the residue that was left behind. I'm gonna be using the Dixie Belle No Pain Gel Stain in the color Walnut, and I'm applying this with the stain pad applicator. And I just applied it in the direction of the grain and rubbed it in. Once I had it all on there, I wiped off any excess with a paper towel. I'm going to be painting the inside of the cabinet, but first I went in with a tack cloth to wipe back any dust that was left over from sanding. And then I went in with some paintable caulking and just went on the seams of where the shelves met the sides, just to make that really smooth so that there wasn't any gaps. I am using Dixie Belle's Silk All-in-One Paint and I am using the color Black Sands. It's an almost black, like really, really dark charcoal color. Um, this paint goes on super smooth. This is my second time using the Silk Paint and I really like it. I did a total of two coats and I did sand in between each coat.
While I was waiting for everything to dry, I went out and I cut a new backing board down to size using my table saw. And I also cut out a new piece of wood for the bottom. I found some random wood trim that was in my garage. I have no idea what it was even for, but I thought it would look really good on the edges of the shelves. So I cut that down to size. I gave everything a nice sand to smooth it out. And then I steamed both of those trim and the new bottom the same color as the outside of the cabinet. Then using some wood glue, I went ahead and put the little trim pieces on the front of the shelves. And I also glued in the bottom piece to the cabinet. While I had it laying on its back, I went in with a detail brush and just added a little bit of touch-up paint on the underside of the edges and the details that you could see. And I also painted the underneath of the shelves as well while it was laying down. To protect my wood, I used some Dixie Belle's Big Mama's Butter and I applied it with a microfiber cloth. After that, I took a clean microfiber cloth and just wiped back any excess. I wanted to use the original brass hardware and I went ahead and I cleaned it by boiling it in some vinegar and scrubbing it with a brush. I do have a whole video on the breakdown of how I clean my hardware, so I will have that linked in the description below, but it turned out really, really well. This one cleaned up probably one of the best that I've seen that I've done so far. All right, now that all that is finally done, let's take a look back and remember what we started with. And here is the final look. As always, let me know what you guys think below in the comments. Also, I just hit my one year anniversary for YouTube. So I just wanna thank everybody that has been here, especially those of you that have been here since the beginning and all the subscribers that I've gained along the way. If you're not subscribed, please do so, so I can continue to grow this channel and bring you guys more content. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next weekend with another flip.